Dear Tijuana River, you are a beautiful fountain of life that keeps on giving. You have been a part of me for as long as I can remember. Your beauty, serenity, stillness, resilience, and patience inspire those that stand before you. For years, I have found myself sitting, reading, and thinking next to you. I have been fortunate enough to see you from both sides of the border. You unite two nations and are a force to be reckoned with. But for a long time now, you have been neglected and abandoned in times of need. I hear your loud shrieks of pain and cries for help. I fear your sorrow and grief. I know you need us now more than ever, as you are patiently and bravely waiting to be saved. For far too long now, you have been exposed to toxic sewage spills and landfill waste. Your stunning surroundings used to be able to reflect from you. Now you're covered in algae and they repel from you. I fear you'll never receive the treatment you desperately deserve. I fear people will never understand how important you are. You are life. You are energy. You are the future. You are hope for a little child standing over the border, dreaming about soaking their little feet in your welcoming waves. Living species around you depend on you for their survival. Many species travel far to dip what used to be fresh boat in water. Now you make them sick. I hope future generations will be able to see who you truly are, so they can once again see you clear and clean. One day, future generations will realize that nature is here to protect, serve, and store our health. You unite two nations. You're a force to be reckoned with. I only hope you'll be able to recover soon. Today, tomorrow, and forever, you are hope. Vanessa. Rio Tijuana, I stand at your shores where you meet the tides of the Pacific. As you flow into the ocean to become one with all the coasts of the world, I witness your relentless force of nature. As I walk in your forest, I admire your unchanging qualities despite the fast pace of this world. It feels like only yesterday I was a kid growing up in your mountains with my horizon filled with your fog in the mornings and those long summer sunsets that seem to last forever. In the same way that your streams continuously break apart only to meet further along a different path, both of our journeys have reunited across time. From mountaintops and across borders, we meet again not far from where I'll now call home. It was only later in life when I realized your significance and all that surrounds me. As I walk along your side, I can see and hear the miracle of migration that you help foster each year. Countless birds find their way to you in the dark of night by following the ever-dimming glow of stars. Many come to your forest to flee harsh winters, to care for their chicks, or simply to rest before continuing on their long journeys. Journeys, much like mine, that eventually find the path back to you. As I look around you, it's easy to see birds are only a few of those that you offer a home to. Only you know how much more is hidden within your waters, canopies, and misty valleys. Despite the countless life forms that depend on you, you ask for nothing in return. Ironically, you also return that which you ask not for. Because of this, you're misunderstood and blamed for problems not of your making. Even though your waterways transcend time, scarred landscapes give you character, and you remain unchanging, you seem to forget that you're also fragile. Those that look upon you for blame appear to have forgotten that water is a mirror. Although you cannot speak for yourself, it is your nature to be a home for those that give you a voice. Cottonwoods rustle in the wind, vireos call upon your canopies, and coyotes howl in your deep canyons. This is the only language you know. It's as if you take condemnation and in return offer blooms, birds, critters, life. For this and many reasons, we come to you to look for answers, to look for ourselves, and reflect on life, or simply to find our way. We depend on you, though we don't always show it, and at times take more than we should. Your shores traverse vast distances, your waters know no boundaries, you mark the beginning and end of many journeys. However, my journey starts and ends near you. Looking after you can feel like navigating in the dark in search of the faint glow of a star, but it's the path I've chosen to take. Until we meet again, Jorge.